if I didn't have this opportunity. So it's really being able to express to everybody my views and my opinions as well. Yeah, I definitely agree. That's how me and Reese met through social media, really. Even though we went to the same school, we actually knew each other. So I slid in through his DM and um, <laughs> just like that, you know, we started training together. So I think, yeah, that and definitely the travel, like even events like this, like this has been such a fun week, weekend already. Um, yeah, it's all through social media, it's pretty cool. Yeah, same thing, it's just the networking. You know what I mean? Like, especially for business and things like that, you've got an opportunity to meet so many people and connect with so many different businesses. And then, you know, you get a lot more opportunity, you know, for different events or business ideas or things like that. Just the networking between companies is probably the biggest perk for me. I was making my NRL debut. I was 20 years old and I started playing at five. So ever since, um, ever since then, 15 years, I was just like, I'd do anything to play NRL and that. I still remember that moment when I was about to run the field. It was just like the best feeling ever. Like it was all those years of like sacrifice, hard work, and this this build up to that one moment. And it's it was just so worth it. I'll never forget that. Uh, for me, it was actually it was actually only like two two weeks ago. I think me and Kane started a podcast and. Uh, we were talking one day about having jobs that you hate, and we were talking about uh, when Kane retired from footy and he was working at uh, Bunnings, and it was just the nine to five on the grind and how to get out of it and things like that. And uh, we got a message off a girl the other day who said, I literally work at Bunnings, and she quit her job and went and pursued something else from the conversation that she listened to us. And I'm, that was massive for us, because that's why we started the podcast. So even like, you know, the, the business side of things was great. That was like the first time I feel like we we seen someone, like we genuinely had a, a positive impact on someone's life. Like they were willing to go off what we said to quit their job. That, that was massive for us, I think, as well, that podcast that we did. Um, for me, obviously, similar sort of situations where I've come out and I had my whole kind of life on display on TV and obviously it didn't go to plan when I left the house and I thought I was actually going to cop a lot of hate and um, unfollows and people not supporting the decision that I had made which was to stay true to myself and to stand up for myself within my relationship that I was in. So I think for me the pinnacle of where I'm kind of at at the moment is that a lot of girls actually then instead of hating me for breaking up with and getting out of my relationship, instead they actually looked up to me. And that was a really amazing feeling. Um, I would say the highlight is just meeting other girls who have inspired to start their own blog, but they were too scared to, and I somehow inspired them to as well. And some of them have actually made, the, made it their full-time job as well, which is incredible. And just, just to meet them makes it feel so real. Um, I guess it's not one highlight, it's just as you go through like, the weeks and months and life, you just have like, little moments where you kind of sit back and realise like, that this is your life and um, I've met like, quite a few people who have told me um, that like, I'd inspired them, they were doing a degree they didn't like and I was just kind of like plodding along just doing it because I applied for after school, got into it and I didn't really think about a career or life after, I wasn't really excited about it, and not that you have to go from doing a degree to doing social media, but just being excited about the career you're having. Okay, I'm finally filming this in intro, no, outro, like five days off, no, three. God, that's a bit dramatic. Um, when I got home from the event, I was literally so tired because I had to wake up so early, so I didn't film an outro, but I thought I would film an outro and I'd show you just a couple of things that we got in the goodie bag, so let's get started. 
Okay, to start off, we just got like this little thing to like fashion college or something. And then we just got like a little note. We don't actually get that much. Oh, I'm not in focus. Okay, there we go. We got some key glasses and they just look like these. They're pretty cute. They just look like this. So we got these. And then we got these little lip gloss things from Boohoo. This is like a pack of three. And this is a pack of one with a lip liner. Then we got two of these LeBang hair. LeBang? Yeah, LeBang hydrating hair and scalp masks. I saw these on Instagram and I've actually been wanting to try them. So that's good that I got them in here. Um, and then we got Mellow Cosmetics. And we got a lipstick in the shade candy floss and it just looks like this it's kind of like a mac bullet and then it's like fluoro pink not really my color but oh well and then we got these lashes from ivia ivia i don't know but they just look like this they're super cute and then basically the rest of what is in here is pretty much Oh, okay. We also got a Boohoo highlighting palette and a pair of socks from Lux Socks. And then basically we just got a whole bunch of papers like these. But they've got like heaps of discount codes on them. So I'll leave all the discount codes um, linked below so you can all use them. I think there's some for Lahana Swim, uh, Wanted Shoes, Ivia and stuff like that. So I'll leave it all linked below so you can use them as well. And thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Got a boy back home in Michigan And it tastes like Jack when I'm kissing him So I told him that I never really liked his friends Now he's gone and he's calling me a bitch again There's a guy that lives in a garden state And he told me that we make it till we graduate So I told him that the music will be worth the wait But he wants me in the kitchen when it's in a plate I believe, I believe, I believe